It's a haul. It's a haul. It's a Trader Joe's haul. In a while since I've gone to Trader Joe's. So welcome to today's video. I'm gonna show you everything that I got from this Trader Joe's trip. Already know if we're going to Trader Joe's, we're getting fresh eucalyptus for my shower. I always tie them together like this with a little hair tie or something and then hang them over the shower head. Amazing, it smells so fresh. It's like you're in a spa when you're in the shower. If you've never done this, you need to try it. So we have a couple new items. I'm so excited about this. These are actually amazing. I had some in the car on the way home. These are the crispy, crunchy peanut butter cookies. They're so freaking good. For six cookies, it's six fat, 15 carb, and three protein, which is honestly really not terrible for cookies in general, but they're so crunchy, and they have the perfect amount of sweetness and salty from the peanut butter. So good. I don't know why I buy these, because it's such a small amount. I could use these in like one omelet, but I love the teeny tiny things from Trader Joe's, like the teeny tiny avocados and these little teeny tiny tomatoes. They're perfect for salads, which I'm going to have for lunch today. Oh, and speaking of that, I've never seen these before. These could not be a new item, but these are rosemary croissant croutons. And I do not like when croutons are like very hard and overly crunchy. And these said buttery flaky croissant croutons. So I feel like they, the bag feels light. So I think they will be a better addition instead of like, just like stale bread. That's, I mean, that is what croutons is. But. And I think these are new too. They were in the new section. Uh, sour cream and onion lentil rings. Let's just try because you know we have to do the try it out in the Trader Joe's haul. Ooh. Mmm. Good. Lentil and rice crisps. You know I like anything crispy like that. I love sour cream and onion. Austin grabbed these. These are the cheddar cheese rocket crackers. I don't know why he grabbed these to a kid snack, but probably just like goldfish. My friend Gina was telling me about these in Florida. I've actually never had these. I've had the regular O's from Trader Joe's, but apparently these are really good because they have yogurt covered strawberry flavored ones. I just thought that would be a really good snack. And these are just like regular Cheerios, two fat, 22 carb, and two protein. And I got a box of these Go Macro peanut butter chocolate chip. These have really good ingredients in them. And for one full bar is 11 fat, 39 carb, and 11 protein. They have the consistency of like uh, an RX bar. So kind of sticky, chewy, but not chewy like the built bars. I was really excited because I couldn't find this in the lady at Trader Joe's helped me. This chili onion crunch is basically just like olive oil, chilies, onions, <laughs> garlic and peppers, but apparently it's really good in vegetables. So I'm looking forward to making some like green beans with these or maybe even broccoli. I don't know. Moving right along. Uh, brioche rolls. These are my absolute favorite. I love the Trader Joe's brioche rolls. They're so fluffy, but you have to be careful because they burn so easily in the toaster. Got some spring mix for my salad. Avocado oil spray. Trader Joe's has my favorite. It never gets clogged. It's not really any different than any other avocado oil spray, but I still like it. Got a new dressing today because I didn't have the dill one. I really like the vegan creamy dill dressing, but they didn't have that. So I went with spicy cashew butter, which is just cashew butter, lime juice, ginger, cilantro, and red chili peppers. Uh, super low macros on this as well. 2.5 fat, four carb, and less than one protein. Probably will have that on a salad today. I still like a big salad. I always, as the weather gets slightly warmer, I get really into the salads. This is for Austin to put on that new Traeger grill, just a regular ribeye steak. Salmon, I forgot we got salmon. He actually grilled this um, Atlantic salmon from Trader Joe's on the Traeger, but like with the maple wood smoked or whatever, and it was so freaking good. It was like the best salmon I ever had. Then just two little uh, seasonings, garlic, salt, and barbecue, just really good on chicken or vegetables, whatever. Just flying through this, oh, this bag's heavy. Oh my gosh, exciting things in this one, I love this. Mini cucumbers for the salad. I'm gonna just keep my salad things out so I can make one after this. And oh, new item, new item alert, black tea, if you, if you don't like boba, we need to test this out because it's kind of soft now. Black tea and boba coconut non-dairy frozen dessert. I have been, whoa. I have been on a boba kick lately. I just really like the tapioca balls. Where's the tapioca balls is the question. With a sweet brown sugar swirl. Oh my gosh, I bet that's so good. Okay, wait, let's see. Give it a first initial taste test. Thank you. 
Okay. With the black tea hits you. Ooh, if you don't like tea, if you don't like black tea, you will not like that. <laughs> That's a very strong tea taste. Okay, maybe not my favorite thing I purchased. I need something else. <laughs> oh, sea bass, sea bass fillets. I really wish they would make these in ginormous bags because there's like literally one serving in this. It's so useless. These grilled chicken breasts, absolutely amazing for salads, wraps, whatever. Okay, I really have to get that flavor of the tea in my mouth. These, unrelated, not Trader Joe's, but I found this at uh, Fresh Time. And this is strawberry lemonade green tea with popping boba, which I've discovered I like recently. <sighs> That's good. Moving along. Another new find, non-dairy oat creamer, brown sugar. And I'm so excited about this because um, the oat milk creamers or the Oatly, these are from Silk and these are definitely my favorite coffee creamers of all time. But they have a brown sugar one that's only seasonal for the fall time. So I was really disappointed when I couldn't get that anymore. Although this is a new one. I don't know if it's seasonal, but it's just a uh, sweet oat latte. And this is really, really good. But my personal preference is still the brown sugar. So I'm really excited to see if this holds up, like what the comparison is. Macros are pretty much the same on both of these. So... I will keep you updated on this. And then these, I actually had these in Florida. I love the mini hold the cones anyway because they're like the perfect size for just like a post dinner treat. And coffee ice cream is like one of my favorite things ever. So I got the coffee ones and there's little chocolate shoved into the bottom of the cone, which in my opinion is like the best thing that you could have in a cone. And some pizza, this looks really good. French thin crust with brie cheese and tomatoes. Awesome, grab this. I won't really be able to eat this because that looks like it's probably very cheesy, but it looks delightful. And just a couple more things. You know, I had to grab my jasmine rice. This is my all time favorite. Although I did find a similar like style of boxed jasmine rice at fresh time. You know, if I have the time and I feel like making it, it's really good fresh, but Trader Joe's jasmine rice is probably the best frozen jasmine rice that you can buy. And I got my dairy-free cheese. This has been my go-to dairy alternative cheese for years since I lived in Florida. I use this almost every day in my like egg omelets or whatever I'm putting it on. It's amazing. Oh, I forgot to and last but not least, just some sauces. I've got my everything but the elote sauce. This is so good for dipping wraps, literally anything. It's so good. And then my other two favorites are everything but the bagel and the cauliflower jalapeno dip. This one has a little kick to it, but it's still so stinking good. As everything that I got from Trader Joe's, I hope you enjoyed. Perhaps we'll do a Trader Joe's meal prep. Really haven't been meal prepping lately, though, honestly, I gotta tell you. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe, you already know, and I'll see you in my next video.